Hello, my name is Amy Tam. I'm the Senior Technical Manager here at The Real Real. It's important to remember when you're selecting your first watch that you're not just buying the watch, but you're also buying the seller. At The Real Real, we already authenticate before we list our watches. I have three Rolexes to introduce to you and also some tips on buying and selling. Here in the watch lab, we have experts from all different backgrounds. They come from all different manufacturers, from brands in which we carry. We look at every single watch, exterior, and interior. We start with the crystal, the dial, the hands, the movement, the exterior of the case, crown, and the bracelet to make sure it's all the standard in which the manufacturer expects it to be. We also carry all the state-of-the-art equipment that you will see in your normal Swiss service center. We're able to test each item to make sure it is of the correct standard. When selecting a watch from the real real, you will see on our products page that we have level 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 0 is mint condition. The first watch I would like to introduce to you is the Rolex Datejust. This is the number one best seller at the real real. The vintage Datejust comes in a great price point but also has the robust movement and also the top quality of Rolex. Even though this is a vintage Rolex, it still has all the attributes and the high quality you would expect in a Rolex. When you select a Rolex, as your first watch, you are selecting a watch that is of high quality and you're setting yourself at a higher standard for your collection. A Rolex not only retains value but also increases in value. So when you're ready to upgrade, you can upgrade with the real real. Now that you have your starter watch and your love for Rolex, let's go to the next level. For me, a natural upgrade would be the Rolex Submariner. The purpose of a unidirectional bezel is because it's a life-saving device. When a diver moves the bezel in one direction where the minute hand is, they could calculate how much air they still have in their tank. If the bezel was to turn in the opposite direction, they will actually not know how much time they were in the water. That's why it only goes in one direction. The Rolex Submariner is an extremely desirable watch. Many people consider their Gorel watch, their Berthier watch. Having one is special. It complements any collection and it's something that fits every individual at its 40 millimeter size. Not too big, not too small, but just right. The final watch I have for you today is the Rolex Daytona. Daytonas are highly desirable because they're very limited. You're not going to find a lot of Daytonas out there and especially not steel models. Steel models are the most desirable Daytonas. It's also the only chronograph that Rolex makes. So that's why it makes it even more limited than a Samariner. A chronograph is a timing device almost like a stopwatch. It calculates elapsed times. When you are ready to sell your Daytona, you should sell it with the Real Real. We are the only company that actually has a full in-house authentication. At the Real Real, we are a community of buyers, sellers, and collectors. So we have people who want what you want to sell. 